You know, during the good old days where I played rhythm games almost every week before quarantine, I have noticed that there are two kinds of rhythm games. We have games like Dance Rush and DDR where you mainly use your feet, and then there are games that are more traditional where you use your hands to hit notes to the beat. It was then that I realized that I haven't really talked about this other rhythm game that I liked and wanted to get into before a certain disease started closing arcades in California. So, in order to get my fix, I somehow convinced my family to uh, cross the border and take a day trip to Nevada to check out our round one arcade to play this game, but that's a story for another time. The point I'm making here is that I like this game so much that I was willing to take a 4 hour trip just to play this game and basically prep for this video. Because if games like DDR are not your thing, and you just want to have a more chill rhythm game experience, then look no further, because it's another month and thus another video, and I've decided that I wanted to talk about a game called Waka. Waka is a rhythm game developed as a collaboration between two companies. Marvelous, a company known for developing or publishing games such as God Eater, No More Heroes, and Skullgirls. Then we have the Japanese music group Hardcore Tana C, known for their work as an independent music label. Released in 2019, Waka was released in Japan and in other Asian territories, as well as the United States. However, don't be surprised if you haven't heard of it. I mean, that's what this video is for after all. In any case, from the times that I've played Waka, it's a really fun game and I can only hope that more people actually get into this hidden gem when, you know, the arcades start opening back up. Moving on, Waka is really simple to play. The controller is a 360 degree touch panel that uses sensors to detect the movements of your hands. And the great part about this is that the control scheme actually contributes to its overall simplicity as you don't really have to deal with buttons, unlike Mai Mai or Poppin' Music, allowing for many to easily get into the game. Other than that, you pick your song and can customize certain settings to your liking, such as note speed, which is self-explanatory, or mask intensity if you want to darken the background and make notes easier to see. Once you get into the actual gameplay, notes will come from the center of the screen onto an outer ring referred to as the judgment line, and you must tap on these notes to the beat of the music. In any case, Waka is a great game for anyone looking to get into rhythm games, as its simple gameplay is easy enough for people to get into, especially when you compare it to other games such as Mai Mai. And for the purposes of this video, I'll use the song Night of Nights to illustrate the difficulty gap between these two games. Now Mai Mai seems a bit difficult, right? Well, when we compare that to the hardest difficulty of the same song in Waka, we can clearly see that Waka is more casual friendly than most other rhythm games. And due to Waka's simple mechanics, it makes it a great way to get new people comfortable into the rhythm game genre, building confidence and fundamental skills which will carry over into other rhythm games. Thus, it's not just a great rhythm game by itself, but it also serves as a stepping stone for people to get into the more hardcore games that I mentioned earlier. In addition to its casual friendly gameplay, Waka has an absolute banger soundtrack, quite literally, as tons of original songs are in the hardcore genre, with songs such as Try Again by USAO and Gate 1 by Iran. Though, of course, since this is a Japanese music game, there will definitely be tracks that will attract people from your veteran weebs to the guy who just started getting into anime. Waka's got your standard fare of Vocaloid songs with Roki and Zenbon Sakura, then they have songs to some of the most popular anime like the openings to Evangelion and Boku no Hero. However, this is not even an exhaustive list, as there are songs from the Toho Project and a variety of other songs with more along the way as more updates are released. Which brings me to another reason as to why Waka is a great game, especially for long-term play, as Waka is periodically updated with new songs, events, and collaborations, ensuring that the game stays fresh even if you've completed everything. In fact, just recently there was a collaboration with Hololive member Pecora with some of her songs becoming playable. So if there are any fans of VTubers out there, well, I've got the perfect rhythm game for you. With this in mind, we can clearly see that Waka is a great gateway rhythm game, and with enough time and dedication, you'll be able to get the hang of it. 
Just don't be fooled by its overall simplicity and pretty light, as Waka can provide enough of a challenge to keep you on your toes once you get comfortable with its gameplay. I mean, just look at this guy. Now that I've probably convinced you to try out this underrated gem, here are some general tips that'll help you out. Though first, if you want to find a Waka machine, you will find them only at round 1 arcades and maybe the occasional anime convention if you're lucky. Once you start playing, I highly recommend you wear gloves, cause well... I'll let Sea Dog VA from Trash Taste explain why. <laughs> it's like a plastic thing, right? And some yeah. of the inputs are like, do a full 360 with your hands, so you're just sliding your <laughs> sweaty palms all around this thing, and you're like, ah! <laughs> like, trying to get your hand around. But don't worry, you don't need any special type of glove. Any cheap cotton one will do, just as long as it reduces friction from your hands. Also, I recommend bringing a headset with a 3.5mm headphone jack, as Waka has a built-in audio port to help you get into the music if you find yourself distracted by all the background noise. Now, if you've seen my past videos, there's a common trend among rhythm games where they have this special little service to log in your scores, save your progress, and give access to events, and Waka is no exception. You see, they have this card that you can buy to get these perks, though they often come in different forms, so just consult with your local round one if they sell them. And once again, I highly recommend doing this, as you can get these perks and as a bonus, your first game is free. In short, Waka is a great game for many to try. Its gameplay is unique enough to attract those who have fallen into the rhythm game rabbit hole, yet simple enough to get people who never so much as touched a rhythm game before to have fun in a normally intimidating genre. And the absolute killer song selection is a bop that'll get you trying out all the songs, each with their own unique and creative chart design. Not to mention, the amount of support the game gets ensures that you'll have no shortage of content to get through. So yeah, go play this game, it'll be great, and hopefully we can get ourselves an official localization in the near future. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.